Hi folks, my name is John Prattlett, I'm a performance expert and I'm always on the lookout to interview people who have been very successful to find out what are some of the things that they do that are different from people who are just your average Joe. So, today I'm interviewing Rashid Cottonwell, welcome Rashid, the owner of Revealed Resources, a successful sales and marketing company in Sydney, Australia. Over the last 10 years, Rashid, together with partner Barbara Soto, have coached and consulted with businesses ranging in size from five to multinationals. Together they've helped businesses increase their revenues anywhere from 100 to 400 percent. Now, I'm interested in those sorts of figures. I hope you are. Welcome, Rashid, again. Thank you, John. Can we start by sharing how you work with clients and some of the results that you've actually achieved? Sure. Um, John, we work with a variety of uh, small to medium businesses mm -hmm. and we predominantly work with the, the business owner and the focus is very much on both marketing the business mm -hmm. in effective, uh, measurable ways as well as the sales process to actually get clients who come in via your marketing process mm -hmm. to, become, to convert into becoming real long term clients. Great. Rashi, can you start by sharing how you work with clients uh, and some of the results you've achieved? Certainly. Uh, generally speaking, we, we work with the business owner mm -hmm. or managing director of the organization and we work with them in two distinct areas. One is marketing mm -hmm. to help them get uh, targeted prospects into the marketing funnel. Mm -hmm. And once they're in the funnel, we set up long-term strategies to actually convert them into long-term profitable clients. Mm. So can you give us some specific examples? Certainly. We, uh, one particular multinational we worked with, uh, a reasonably small operation in Australia, uh, went from 3 million to about 11.5 million mm -hmm. in, in revenue, mm -hmm. um, principally using the sales strategies and uh, methodologies that we put into place. Mm -hmm. A lot of the time in that particular instance we spent working on the managing director's uh, mindset if you like, mm -hmm. getting him to embrace new methods of, of uh, doing things, getting the right staff involved, uh, figuring out the process, hiring the right people mm -hmm. and he actually attributes uh, a lot of the growth to that 11.5 million. In fact, his goal was to get to, to 10 million. Yes. He actually got to 11.5 million. And the irony is, we, he, he didn't even tell us because we sort of worked with him for a year. Yes. And, and this happened over the course of the next couple of years. And one day we just happened to meet him at, uh, at a function and he said, oh, by the way, uh, we didn't just do 10, we did 11.5. And he said, it's thanks to you. And I thought, wow, that's really good. Where's my bonus check? Where's my bonus <laughs> check? <laughs> And in other instances, we've, um, uh, we've helped other organizations, one particular one in the, in the printing business, mm -hmm. uh, and they work uh, directly with uh, uh, professional photographers and they're a digital printing house. Uh, when we started with them, they were wondering how they were going to survive. Mm -hmm. uh, they uh, were a collection of five professional, in fact, five of Australia's top photographers who decided that they wanted to go into the printing business because they couldn't get decent prints. Yes. So no real marketing skills, no real people skills. And uh, when we spoke to them uh, a few months ago, they said, recession? What recession? What global financial crisis? Mm -hmm. uh, one of the owners said, I've got hundreds of thousands of dollars in the bank. All our competitors have fallen by the wayside. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of it is thanks to, uh, thanks to the stuff that you did for us mm -hmm. because we steered them in the right direction. We made sure that they kept the right people, they got rid of the wrong people. Mm -hmm. um, in one particular instance, we actually got an insurance company to pay out a check of $40,000 for them that the insurance company flat, flatly refused. Mm -hmm. And using our sales techniques, mm -hmm. uh, actually got the insurance company off the line. So um, we did pretty well for them. Mm -hmm. uh, in other instances with the mortgage company, we uh, doubled the guy's revenue in one day simply by doubling his fees. Right. Have no client blinked. Right. The biggest issue there was his own mindset. Oh, I can't do that. My clients are all object, but no one objected. So it sounds like then the solutions that you're offering 
vary quite dramatically from something as simple as double someone's fees and obviously helping them with the mindset to be able to accept that mm -hmm. and overcoming that resistance to then much more complex situations. Absolutely. A, a lot of what we do, interestingly enough, is expanding that mindset and it is that coaching aspect of what we do. Mm -hmm. Very often uh, business owners or managing directors and senior executives will say, oh, I can't do that. Mm -hmm. And our response is, why not? Mm -hmm. And, and yes, sometimes it is a process getting them over the line to, to, uh, to saying, okay, I'll try it, and then being very pleasantly surprised that, hey, there wasn't any resistance, and that this thing really did work, and it really did produce the results. Mm. And we back that up by putting in multiple you know, formal strategies for actually getting leads in through a marketing sense, mm. and formal strategies for actually converting them. So we have marketing processes that hinge around direct response marketing, mm -hmm. reaching out to your particular target audience with a message that they like to divide with, testing all of this of course, and when they come in the door we actually train them in modern day sales skills, which is not the used car salesman approach, it mm -hmm. really is getting to know your target market, mm -hmm. market forming those relationships with them, mm -hmm. and being there when, you're, when your client is ready to buy, and that could be now, or it could be three months or a year from now. Mm. But being in contact and forming that relationship so that when the client is ready and they raise their hands, you're the one that comes to mind. Excellent. So for our viewers, um, can you expand a little more on the system that mm -hmm. you use? Okay, uh, if, we, if we split up the marketing from the sales, let's take the marketing first. Mm -hmm. we, we believe in what's called direct response marketing. Now, that means we are targeting a specific audience. Uh, for instance, it might be, uh, let's say, financial planners. We work with a lot of financial planners. Mm -hmm. uh, and their specific audience comes in a number of flavors. They might have uh, accumulators, which is a 45-year-old to, say, a 55-year-old uh, range. And then they've got free retirees, which might be somewhere around 50 to 60. Mm -hmm. And then they've got the retirees, which are probably 60 onwards. And each one of these groups has specific pains, desires, frustrations, mm -hmm. and it's a matter of figuring out who they are, how they think, and what the best way of actually getting in front of them is with something that is going to make the target audience mm -hmm. sit up and say, hey, I need this, or this is something interesting, and, and putting in front of them a mechanism that, okay, I may not need it right now, but it, juggle, it jiggles enough mm -hmm. in my mind to say, ah, I need to think about this, yeah. but keep, and keep in touch with them, and keep disturbing them enough so that when they are ready, mm -hmm. they come to you. Mm -hmm. So we use a number of different methodologies, obviously. Mm -hmm. uh, so how do you get from Well, we, we use direct mail, we might use a website, online strategies, we do a lot of stuff in online strategies, mm -hmm. uh, online advertising done the right way is very, very effective because you can measure and test everything. Mm -hmm. uh, we make sure that your website is, is doing the right things. That means you're capturing data, you're capturing people's names, addresses, mm -hmm. uh, so that you can follow them up automatically. Mm -hmm. uh, we use direct mail, which is physical mail. We use fax, which works extremely well to this day when you're dealing with businesses. Even in this, Even modern, in this day. modern day. Yeah. People still read the facts. Even if it comes as an email, they still read the facts because they don't actually know what the fact says. It just has a PDF. Yeah. Okay? So it's really quite fascinating. People say facts doesn't work. The fact does work. Mm. Uh, yes, we want to telemarket. So there's a whole variety of different mechanisms. But the key is to form that relationship mm. and to keep touching them because in sales, the mantra that we've always subscribed to is it takes between 5, 9, 14, 16, 18 touches before someone is ready to buy. They've got to see something about you, hear something about you, mm. in multiple different ways, before they're likely to know you, like you, and trust you mm. enough to part with their heart and money. Mm. Okay. Um, so, in terms of the relationship building, how do you find that you are able to, I guess, build the deepest relationship? Is it based on number of touches? It's based on giving value. Right. There's no point in touching someone for if, if your whole viewpoint is what's in it for me. Yeah. 
you have to come from a place where you're genuinely giving them something of intrinsic value each time that you touch them. Mm. So, uh, I, I don't know about you, but I get lots of emails and other physical mail from people who just want to sell me something. Mm. Mm. And I don't know who they are, they just send me something out of the blue and I'm going, well, why would I want this? Now, mm. in certain cases, yes, it does trigger something, it might be a rainwater tank and I'm, I'm interested in rainwater tanks, yeah. but very often it might be something that I'm totally uninterested in. Mm. So the whole key is to figure out what your market is interested in and give them something of value that would be of interest. Mm -hmm. So we subscribe to uh, giving people free white papers. Mm -hmm. So it might be the seven questions you should ask your financial planner before considering hiring them. Mm -hmm. Or it could be the, the, the five things that your plumber should be doing for you, yeah. but maybe isn't, mm -hmm. and what you should know about the plumber or the rainwater tank or the whatever it is. Mm -hmm. And by giving something away first, in return for their name and address, you then get that reciprocity. You've given them something, they give you something back, and you can then start following them up, the multiple touch. One of uh, our colleagues actually has uh, a 14 or 15 touch mechanism. Wow. Okay, so his initial product might be about $300, mm -hmm. but he knows over the lifetime value of that client they could spend as much as $30,000 with them. So let's pick up this, this idea of lifetime value. What do you love the customer? What do, you, what do you mean by that? Okay, so a customer comes in and spends an average of $100 with you. Let's say that your average transaction is $100. Mm -hmm. If you spend a whole bunch of money getting that customer in to spend this $100 and the customer never comes back, mm. you've really lost out on a lot of money. Mm. If you think about the lifetime value of McDonald's, for instance, mm -hmm. generally speaking, someone coming into McDonald's isn't just going to come in once. You know, they've trained the kids extremely well to keep coming back and bringing the parents. Yeah. So the lifetime value of someone coming to a McDonald's might well be, okay, I might, I might spend 15 or $20 a meal between the two or three of us, mm -hmm. but if I keep coming back once a week mm -hmm. for the next five, seven, ten years, that is a lot of money. Mm -hmm that you've spent, that one person has spent. So the lifetime value is how much on average is this client likely to be able to spend with your business mm -hmm. over the lifetime of that person. So that then is going to give you an indication, I would imagine, of the, 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 the amount of money that you can afford to invest in Absolutely. getting this client. Yeah. Absolutely. So if the lifetime value for argument's sake is is three or four or five thousand dollars, mm -hmm. and in certain markets like a financial planner, the lifetime value might well be fifty or sixty thousand dollars over the ten years that, mm -hmm. that a client is. You could conceivably afford to spend a proportion of that money getting the client in, mm -hmm. knowing that on average you're going to get the money back. Yeah. Now, I'm not suggesting that if the client is going to, if the lifetime value is say ten thousand, you're going to spend ten thousand acquiring the client. That would be cash flow suicide. Mm -hmm. okay? However, you could say, okay, if the lifetime value or the value over two or three years is $10,000, could I afford to spend maybe $500 mm. getting the client? It's interesting you should say that because I, my experience of, say, a cafe, you know, sometimes you'll get lousy service mm -hmm. and they know it's lousy, they've held you up, but they don't even offer you a complimentary cup of coffee. Yeah. It sounds idiotic to me. It is idiotic. Yeah. But you think of it the other way, look at the loyalty program, mm. how, many, how many of us have a coffee card where the fifth coffee is free and, and you religiously get them filled <laughs> out or stamped yeah. and you go back for that fifth coffee? Yeah. Now that, somebody there understands lifetime value and loyalty. Yeah. And you feel good about and going back. And you feel back. good yeah. about going back. Yeah. Terrific. So if, if, um, if you're listening to this and um, I'd like you to, to imagine, if you would, Rashid, that there's a question out there that's mm -hmm. an obvious one that I haven't asked you. What would it be? Is, uh, if your life depended on coming up with another suggestion for our viewers, what would it be? What would you come up with? Now, folks, we're really digging here because he's got more in there that he can share with you, I'm sure. So we're just going to tease him a bit. <laughs> okay, so what, what to me, okay, if there was one thing that I would say to any business, mm -hmm. you are not a technical business, you are actually a marketer of the business. 
because if we go with the Michael Gerber philosophy where we have this entrepreneurial seizure and uh, we decide because we're really good technicians and technical at something, mm -hmm. like the car mechanic becomes the owner of the garage or the baker becomes the owner of the bakery, yeah. it is a very different thing being the owner as being the actual technician. And most of us go into business because we wanted to be the technician. Yeah. However, we have no idea of how to market that business. Mm -hmm. So if there's one fundamental, it is become a really good marketer. And it's not hard to do this. That's what we're here for. That's mm -hmm. what we can help you with, mm -hmm. with some low cost, simple but effective. Just because they're simple doesn't mean they're effective. Just mm -hmm. because they're easy doesn't mean it's not effective. Mm -hmm. in, fact, in fact, they're very effective strategies mm -hmm. for getting clients in the door. Mm -hmm. And the other thing I would absolutely say is change your mindset from being a technician mm -hmm. to a marketer. Mm -hmm. So if one of our viewers, in fact, hopefully many of the viewers, but if, uh, if they want to find out more and get a start, mm -hmm. But perhaps this isn't going to cost them anything up front, they get a chance to check you out. Look, we, would be the first step? Look, we, we offer a free half an hour consultation. Now, when I say free, nothing in life is ever free. Okay? Mm. Yes, we are going to look at what you do and we are going to give you suggestions. It's up to you whether you take us up on that mm. or not. Uh, our philosophy is we will only work with people that we like mm. but we feel that we can help. And Essentially, it gives us a way of getting to know you, it gives you a way of getting to know us, and uh, basically we can uh, uh, then progress it from there. If we see there is a fit, mm -hmm. if we see if there are some gaps that we could possibly help you solve, mm -hmm. then we can discuss programs, and we have a range of different programs, mm -hmm. uh, and it really does depend on, on what your needs are right at this moment, mm -hmm. whether it's a marketing issue or a sales issue, we really look for the leaks in the, in the process. Yeah, if you're getting a hundred, and this, this is a true example, uh, we were talking to a large financial house, a um, very large one, mm -hmm. and they had a hundred people coming in the funnel and three people becoming clients. That's a 3% conversion rate. Mm -hmm. And that's going through their telemarketing, it's going through their planners, all the way down. And I, and I said, well, if we could increase the 100 to 4, what is that worth? 100 mm -hmm. to 5, 100 to 6. And it would be very easy to do that by making small tweaks in the process and figuring out where people are falling off. Are they, mm -hmm. you know, are they falling off in the telemarketing because they're not being qualified? Are they falling off because they're not the right people in the first place? Mm -hmm. Are they falling off because the planners are not selling properly? Mm. And depending on where that is, if we could just make some small tweaks, mm -hmm. we could massively increase the revenue and the profitability of that op operation while reducing the cost. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, I guess as a viewer, I would probably want to know what you charge and also do you offer a money-back guarantee? Mm -hmm. What we charge how long is a piece of string? Well, what I can say is, is currently we have a number of programs. Mm -hmm. uh, we do a half-day consultation for uh, uh, $2,000 where we do a strategic view of, of your business. Mm -hmm. And uh, we give you a, a plan as to what you should be doing and where the leaks are. And from that, we can put in a program and, and the cost. From a coaching point of view and a consulting point of view range from about 1500 a month to anywhere from three or four thousand dollars a month. It really depends on the client, it depends on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. The average length of engagement is about 12 months mm -hmm. because it's very difficult to, uh, to get real results given all of the factors that we look for mm -hmm. in less than three to four months. The average is six to 12 months and then people really do explode. Mm -hmm. okay. So I would imagine then that you would get some, probably some early low-hanging fruit wins yeah. if you like but for the bigger, more sustained, systemic ones, that takes longer. It does take longer. Uh, yeah, change takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes time for people to integrate the change, mm -hmm. to change their behaviours, mm -hmm. and to really start kicking goals. And, and bear in mind that if from a standing start, if you're going to have to contact people on a regular basis, that takes time as well. You can't yeah. call somebody up every two days and say, hey, are you ready to become a client? Yeah. That doesn't work either. So our experience has been that it does take time. But if you're willing to put in the hard yard, if you're willing to put in the work and spend the time, we get massive results. Mm -hmm. And if we don't, don't have. <laughs> so money back guarantee. Money back so guarantee. You're the winner there. 
You've got a half hour complimentary session to set things up. Absolutely. Terrific, so can't lose there. Um, so where do we go from here? Well, we have a website, mm -hmm. www.revealedresources.com. So that's on R E V E A L E D resources.com. It'll be on the bottom of that so on this video. Yep. And look, go and check us out and give me a call. Uh, there's no obligation, it's just, mm -hmm. a, just a friendly chat. Great. And we'll, we'll put the phone number on the screen as well. The phone number will be on the screen at the end of this. Terrific. Well, thank you for your time today. Thank you, John. Viewers, I hope you got some value from that conversation. So Rashid is available and waiting to hear from you. Uh, this man will offer tremendous value. I can guarantee that uh, too. So thank you for watching. Thanks, John.